सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास सेवन हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर फ्रेंड प्रेमलता नाइस टू हैव यू हियर होप यू आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन today we will learn more about chapter 1 integers of class 7 mathematics and cert children we had learned about numbers in our last audio session where we had discussed about the concept of integers which is a combination of both positive and negative numbers we also connected happy feelings with positive integers and sad feelings with negative integers we also learned about the properties of addition of integers in this session we will study about the multiplication of integers and we will also discuss about the properties of multiplication of integers as you all know integers can be positive or negative there can be different combinations that we can apply in multiplying integers let us understand each case one by one case 1 when both integers are positive they multiply and make the product positive let's think of a scenario where i got a profit of 20 rupees so i will represent this profit of 20 rupees by plus 20 or simply 20 let's say my profits were doubled the next day so how much would be the amount of profit on the second day i know you all must be thinking that the profit would be 40 rupees what we did here was that we multiplied 20 with 2 and when we multiply them we get the answer plus 40 which is the mathematical representation of the profit of 40 rupees Let's take another example. Five times two is equals to ten. We multiply the numbers directly and get the answer. Since both numbers five and two are positive, the product ten is also positive. Let's take one more example. Three times five is equal to fifteen. We multiply two numbers directly and get the answer. Since three and five both are positive, the result fifteen is also positive. Remember this important fact that when two integers are positive, their product will also be positive. That is, when we multiply plus sign with a plus sign, we will get a plus sign. Now let's take case two. When we multiply two negative integers. then also their product is a positive number that is negative times negative is positive now how to explain this situation just tell me what is the opposite of day night and what is the opposite of night day that means if we do opposite of the opposite of a thing we get the same thing let's take one more example Just stand in front of a mirror. In this activity, your face should be facing towards the mirror. Now, I ask you to turn around. This time, your face is facing against the mirror. Now, I am asking you to turn around again. What is the placement of your face now? I am sure you must be facing towards the mirror again. that is your face would be in front of the mirror so we can say that if you do opposite of the opposite of a thing that is by turning around two times you reach the same position in which you were standing in the first place for example minus 4 times minus 1 would be plus 4 we multiply the numbers directly and get the answer since both the numbers are negative the product becomes positive always remember 
when two integers are negative their product will be positive let's see one more case now multiply minus 4 and minus 5 minus 4 times minus 5 gives plus 20 since both the numbers are negative the product becomes positive when we multiply minus sign with a minus sign we get a plus sign now let's take case 3 when one number is positive and the other number is negative in this case the product will be negative let's think of a scenario where i lost 10 rupees so i will represent this loss of 10 rupees by minus 10 Let's say my losses were doubled the next day. So, how much would be the amount of loss in the second day? I know you all must be thinking that the loss would be twenty rupees. Now, what we did here was that we multiplied minus ten with two, and when we multiply them, we get the answer minus twenty, which is the mathematical representation. of loss of 20 rupees now let me ask you one question what is 2 times minus 3 i repeat what is 2 times minus 3 2 times minus 3 is equals to minus 6 we multiply the numbers directly and since one of the numbers is negative the product becomes negative remember when one integer is positive and one is negative their product will be negative let's take one more case what is minus 5 times 2 minus 5 times 2 is minus 10 we multiply the numbers directly and since one number is negative and one is positive the product becomes negative that is when we multiply minus sign with a plus sign or plus sign with a minus sign we always get a minus sign in our answer so what do we have to remember when we multiply integers a positive integer times positive integer is a positive number a negative integer times negative integer is also a positive number a negative integer times positive integer is a negative number and a positive integer times negative integer is also a negative number here is another way of remembering if the integers have the same sign the product is positive plus times plus is equal to plus and minus times minus is also equals to plus If both the integers are of different signs the product is negative plus times minus is equal to minus and minus times plus is equal to minus now let's discuss about some properties of multiplication property 1 closure under multiplication for example we all know 3 times 4 is equal to 12 Just tell me is 3 an integer? Yes. Now is 4 an integer? Yes. And is 12 also an integer? Yes. Let's take another example. Minus -3 times minus -4 is equal to 12. Again we see minus -3 is an integer. Minus -4 is an integer and 12 is also an integer. So we can say that if we multiply two integers the result is always an integer therefore we can say that integers are closed under multiplication let's move on to the next property property 2 commutative property of multiplication do you remember what is the commutative property of addition in that We learned that if a and b are two integers then a plus b will be same as b plus a 
Let's check whether the multiplication of integers is commutative or not. What is 4 times minus 1? It is minus 4. What is minus 1 times 4? It is minus 4. In both cases, the answer is the same. Let's take one more example. What is 3 times minus 2? Think. Yes, it is minus 6. And what is minus 2 times 3? The answer is still minus 6. So, we see that the answer does not change when we reverse the digits in multiplication. That is, if A and B are two integers, then A times B is same as B times A. That means, if we change the order of the integers, their product remains the same. Therefore, we say the multiplication of integers is commutative. Now, let's move on to the third property of addition. Property 3 Associative property of multiplication. Do you remember what associative property of addition was? We saw that if there are three integers A, B and C, then sum of A and B added to C will be the same as A added to the sum of B and C. Let's see. If this associative property is valid for multiplication or not. For this, we will take three numbers instead of two. For example, we take five, two, three. What is five times two times three? In first scenario, we will multiply five and two, we get ten. And what is 10 times 3? The result will be 30. Now let's reverse the order of multiplication. Here we multiply 2 and 3 first. What is 2 times 3? It is 6. And now what is 6 times 5? It is 30. So we see if we multiply 3 integers, their product remains the same even if we change the order of the numbers. Let's take one more example. This time we take the integers 2, minus 3 and 1. I repeat 2, minus 3 and 1. Now what is 2 times minus 3 times 1? Here when we multiply 2 and minus 3 we get minus 6. And what is minus 6 times 1? The result we get is minus 6. Now let's reverse the order of multiplication. This time we multiply minus 3 and 1 first. What is minus 3 times 1? It is minus 3. And now what is minus 3 times 2? It is minus 6. So we see if we multiplied 3 integers, their product remains the same even if we change the order of numbers. In this case, the result was minus 6 in both cases. This is called associative property of multiplication. Now I have a mind-boggling riddle for you. What is that special number which when multiplied by some other number does not change that number at all? Think. I will give you few seconds to think. Yes, you guessed it right. The number is 1. For example, 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. This special number 1 is called the multiplicative identity. Always remember that as it is an important question from examination perspective. Now since we have learnt a lot today, it is a good idea to lighten up things with a funny joke. Now the joke is, once a maths teacher 
and a history teacher had a fight. The fight was really terrible. History teacher said, "I will call all my historical army and ask them to attack you." Maths teacher replied, "No issues. I will put them in a bracket and multiply your whole army with zero." Wasn't that interesting? What we have learned from this joke is that when we multiply zero with any number the result will always be zero that is 4 times 0 is 0 minus 10 times 0 is 0 let's move on to an important property of multiplication which is called the distributive property of multiplication over addition i repeat distributive property of multiplication over addition let's imagine a situation in which 99 monkeys live on an island you went there and distributed four bananas to each monkey then you visited another island which was inhabited by one monkey only you gave four bananas to that monkey also so how many bananas in total did you distribute you can find the solution in two ways first you can multiply 99 with 4 for this you will need a pen and a paper and get the answer which is 396 then you will add four more bananas to it as given to the monkey who was living alone in the second island so when you add 396 and 4 you get 400 now look at the other smart way of doing things for this you can imagine that you brought that single monkey to the island where 99 monkeys already lived so now in total there are 100 monkeys and you gave four bananas to each monkey so when you calculate the number of bananas you gave it would be 100 times 4 which is 400 so we can write 4 times 99 plus 4 times 1 is same as 4 times 100 and which is 400 If we want to express it mathematically we can say that a times b plus a times c is equal to a times the sum of b and c where a b and c are three integers now let's take one more question what is 2 times 90 plus 2 times 10 think about it for a second for solving this problem you might need a pen or a pencil along with a paper but you can also do it mentally by using distributive property of addition since 2 is being multiplied by 90 and then 2 is being multiplied by 10 and then results are added together So what you can do is you can add 90 and 10 which is 100 and now you can multiply 100 by 2 so you will get the answer 200 isn't it easier if we use distributive property now let me ask you some questions to check if you understood the concept of multiplication in integers question 1 what is 2 times minus 5 i repeat what is 2 times minus 5 if you said minus 10 then your answer is correct the next question what is minus 4 times 3 times minus 1 i repeat the question what is minus 4 times 3 times minus 1 If you thought of twelve or plus twelve, then you are right. As we know that 
minus times minus is plus. So the sign will be positive, and three times four times one is twelve. So our answer is twelve or plus twelve. Now question number three. What is ninety nine times two times minus three times zero? I repeat. What is ninety nine times two times minus three times zero? The question seems difficult, but it is very simple in reality. The answer is in fact zero. As we know that any number multiplied by zero will always become zero. Now let's move on to another question. Question four: What is five times ninety five? Plus five times one hundred five. I repeat, what is five times ninety five plus five times hundred and five? Think about it for a second. For solving this problem, you might need a pen along with a paper, but you can also do it mentally by using distributive property of addition, since. 5 is being multiplied by 95 and then 5 is being multiplied by 105 and then the results are added together so what you can do is you can add 95 and 105 which is 200 and now you can multiply 200 by 5 so what will you get you will get 1000 as an answer so let's review What all we learnt today? We learnt about the rules of the signs in multiplication of integers. If the integers have the same sign, the product is positive. Plus times plus is equal to plus, and minus times minus is also equal to plus. If both the integers are of different signs, the product is negative. Plus times minus is equal to minus, and minus times plus is equal to minus. We learned about commutative property of multiplication in integers, which says if a and b are two integers, then a times b is same as b times a. We also learned about associative property of multiplication, which says that when we multiply three integers, their product remains the same, even if we change the order of numbers. We also talked about the multiplicative identity of integers, which is one, as multiplying one with an integer does not change the value of the number we also learned that when we multiply any integer with zero the result will always be zero last but not the least we learned about distributive property of multiplication over addition which was a times b plus a times c is equal to a times the sum of b and c where a b c are three integers for a quick recap answer these question what is 3 times minus 4 i repeat what is 3 times minus 4 i'll give you few seconds to think and answer If you said minus twelve, then you are absolutely correct. Now, next question: What is minus three times three times minus two? I repeat: What is minus three times three times minus two? I'll give you few seconds to think and answer. You can use a pen or a pencil with a paper. If you thought of eighteen or plus eighteen, then you are right, 
as we know that minus times minus is plus so the sign will be positive and the result will be plus 18 now another question what is 5 times 95 plus 5 times 5 i repeat what is 5 times 95 plus 5 times 5 think about it for a second i'll give you few seconds to think or write since 5 is being multiplied by 95 and then 5 is being multiplied by 5 and then the results are added together so what you can do is you can add 95 and 5 which is 100 and now you can multiply it by 5 and you get 500 so now we have understood all the properties of multiplication of integers hope you enjoyed listening this session that's all for today stay curious and healthy and i look forward to talking to you in the next session bye and thank you for being a patient listener You are just listening to curriculum based programs Dhwani Shala production assistance Meenakshi Kukreti Tanu Gupta and Jagbandhu Jana recorded by Bati Langlingdo and produced by Vandana Arimardan This program was brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India